Welcome guys, Godspeed here. Today we're going to be building a Viking Merchant's House. I have my layout down already. It's an 11 by 7 layout. We're here today on Fjordjil. This is official settings with clip enabled. I'm simply on this map because it has a nice backdrop for Viking style builds. But everything on this build is official. This map will release officially on June 2022. So let's get into this build. Go ahead and take your stone foundations and place down another four at the front here. Followed by another eight. Now go ahead and select your wooden fence foundation. We're going to place them down here and add our stone pillars, three high. And we're gonna add a wooden pillar on top of each of these two. Now go ahead and select your stone pillars again. I'll copy my layout right now. So some are gonna to be too high. Some are going to be free high. Again, we're going to add another fence foundation down here to get our uh, snap point. We're going to two high here with two high wooden pillars. And then the same on this side. We're also going to lay one at the front here. And snap a pillar to each one. And on the right hand side here too. You may want to slow this down to get this pillar uh, placement exact. Because when making these videos, I have a general game plan in mind of what I want to build, but I, it's not always set in my mind of how exactly I want it. So I do sort of wing it, um, semi-wing it when I'm building. So you want to go ahead and pause it here maybe and then uh, copy my uh, pillar placement. So now this is the rear of the build. I'm going to go ahead and get our wooden fence foundation again and snap down a set of two pillars followed by a long run of three stone pillars. And then one pillar on the end. one more on there make it symmetrical go ahead and take your single stone walls and I'm gonna lay three on this right hand side I'm gonna lay them around this front porch area leaving one gap there for the uh, staircase. I'm going to do the same here again. Leaving two gaps. Now take your adobe walls 
and we're going to place them around the entire edge of the build. Now go ahead and select your fat ceilings. And then your stone rail. Now we're looking for that blue snap point and then flip it. And then place a wooden rail on top. Now you can go ahead and remove that fat ceiling. Let me show you again. Blue snap point, flip it. Then a wooden rail. Then remove the fat ceiling. One more time. Blue flip. Wood. Remove. Simple. Now we're going to go ahead and repeat this on all the adobe all the way around. And let's add our first front porch and our left hand side front porch. I'm going to box this area off. I'm going to create our cellar. So this will be our cellar. This part here, you can sort of box off as much as you like, depending on how big you want your cellar to be. This will make a bit more sense in a second. And I'm going to go ahead and take my wooden ceilings. placing these wooden ceilings down make sure the drain is facing the right way all the way across and I'm going to go ahead and fill this entire section in so that was what I was saying a second ago about that cellar so that little area that I marked out in the middle there will be our basement uh, it all depends on how big you want your basement so you can wall out that basement bigger or smaller or even not at all so you know have fun with it Also guys, I'll be going live in a few days on Twitch. I'll link my Twitch in the description below. And I'll be building some slum style houses, which I'm really looking forward to. It's a bit of a different take on art builds. You don't really see that often. So I'm kind of excited to build that build. And I hope to see you guys there live. If I don't see you there live, I hope to see you there on the restream upload. Of course guys, if you're not subscribed already, please consider subscribing and also smashing that like button below. There we have it. That'll be our ground floor. As you can see, I've left my cap for my uh, basement. I'm going to go ahead and add a stone pillar and a wooden pillar to these two on the side here. And some wooden pillars on top of each of these single stone pillars. We'll leave the uh, ones at the front. I'm going to go ahead and add two stone double doors and two reinforced doors. That will be our front entrance. And I'm also going to add two on the, on the right hand side here again with two reinforced double doors. It's starting to take shape now, right? Let's go ahead and put down a stone staircase here and also one on this side. Now 
And we're going to place the appropriately sloped left and right stone walls on this left and right hand side. Take our stone walls and place them too high on the left and right of the uh, main doorway. And a wall and two slope walls on the right. And a wall and two slope walls on the left. A double Door, a stone door frame on the left and the right followed by three stone walls repeat this on the left hand side these will be our merchant front parts where um, the the merchant the store part of the front let's go ahead and box this off with some stone walls on the left and right Gonna go ahead and work on the uh, back part. So we'll take our sloped stone wall, followed by some single stone walls. We're basically just gonna copy the pattern at the front. Instead of walls at the front, we're going to add some window frames just to give a bit of dynamic to this build. And on top of that, we'll add our stone walls. Again, with the stone walls, let's go ahead and place four either side of this double doorway. Take your wooden ceilings and place two either side. Now go ahead and take your single wooden um, door frame. You could actually use thatch for this too. And then your catwalk. And now go ahead and place down two wooden doors. Take your thatch walls and place them over the single doors and then pick up the thatch walls. This will leave just the floating door. Let's go ahead and throw in a door on the left and the right here. And throw two sloped roofs under each of these ceilings on the left and the right and a wooden foundation in between both ceilings on the left and the right snap two wooden pillars to each of the fence foundations and the left and right sloped wooden wall and a wall in the middle on the main doorway. Again, place a left and right sloped wooden wall on these left and right hand side parts. <coughs> we'll take your wooden ceilings and place them too wide on this left part all the way to the back of the build and then take your wooden ceilings and place them from the front to the back of this build and on this right towards the back of the build
We'll place a wooden fence foundation in the middle here and snap two high wooden pillars to it. And a left and right slope wall. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this on this side too. Again, another left and right slope wall and a wooden wall. Now we're really starting to take shape now, guys. Lay two wooden ceilings over each other at the front. And two wooden ceilings over each other at the back. Place down your wooden fence foundation and snap a wooden pillar. Repeat this at the front. And we're going to go ahead and bring our uh, fence foundations all the way from the front to the back. I'm going to go ahead and add a wall and a slope wall. And the same here. A wall and a slope wall. Go ahead and place down our wooden walls all the way across. It doesn't matter if these are the right or wrong way around, they're going to be hidden in a second. And go ahead and throw down another pillar and a sloped wooden wall at the front and the back. Add down your ramps and overlap it at the front here. Continue this on the other side. Let's go ahead and repeat this on this side. Take your wooden ramps, place them down from front to back or back to front. Overlap at the front here and repeat on the other side. Again, place some more ramps down in this gap on the left. And some more ramps down on this gap on the right. I can go ahead and remove these ceilings here. And also the ones at the back. Again, we're gonna take our ramps and place them back to front, front to back on the top here and also again on the other side. A little bit of a different take on a Viking roof, uh, usually people do it pretty similar but I'm going to go ahead and put our trophy mounts here mainly to cover that nasty gap and a torch in the middle. Let's go ahead and throw a trophy mount on the right hand side here and a torch. And we'll also do the same on the left hand side here. Trophy mount and a torch. Go ahead and repeat this on the back. Take our wooden rails and just copy my layout here. Just 
We're gonna lay them at the front here, leaving a gap for the stairwell. And lay them at the back too. Make sure when you're snapping these, you're snapping them to the uh, at the other rail and not the edge of the ceiling otherwise it will stick out like a sore thumb we'll take our reinforced windows and place them in each of these window gaps i'm going to go ahead and add a stairway here for the sideways entrance to this base continue with my sloped wooden roofs leaving a gap for the right hand side entrance Go ahead and fill this side in with slope wooden roofs also. I'm going to go ahead and bring this down to the floor. Add some rails on each side of these staircases. Now these are just obviously the little fiddly bits, you know, uh, this is going to be our little stable. So we'll go ahead and add some wooden walls on top of here. I've left that little part open there, maybe we could throw a generator under there. We're going to go ahead and add some thatch walls on top here for our little stable. I'm going to create ourselves a little bale of hay by placing down a thatch foundation and turning it to block. Now obviously, like I said, these are mainly just the decorative fiddly pieces now. But I'm going to go and have add some pillars, a flag and a trophy mount and try to create that um, sort of Viking totem sort of thing by laying down a wooden a wooden fence foundation on top here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the manticore shield because I think it looks really good on these trophy mounts. Now we're gonna go ahead and snap our fence supports. And I really like I really like fence supports, but I don't like the way they snap. You have to toggle your snap points a lot to get the uh, correct uh, correct snap that you want. I feel like these are kind of broken, but they look really cool. 